Alright. Let's hope this works. I can't... I can't adjust settings in this as much as, um... Other games. And, um... I've had a failed recording already. So we'll just go to a new game, I guess. <sighs> I know, god damn it. Okay, press C to start. And this volume of this game is loud, it seems. Hello? Young? Hey! Oh, you can hear me good. Now listen, you are about to wake up. You will see the arrow keys to move around. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Cards, save. Other options, set volumes. Is that good? And did it save? Yeah, it saved. Um, this is a... Oh, look, we're being attacked by Tetris pieces in the background there. You will press the C to interact with objects. So this seems to be a puzzle game, I suppose. Again, I played it a little bit, but... I press Enter to access the menu, which provides you with information about yourself and your surroundings. Just me, or is the screen really shaky? And is that normal? Okay, that was normal. I didn't remember that the first time. Sometimes if we talk to people multiple times, they have new things to say, as I know. Like this sage guy. The cloaked man. Well, it's about time. Uh, I mean, greetings, young. I am sage, the village elder. Young sage. These are adjectives. These aren't names. Like sagely. Even though Sage could be a title. But it's not a name. It's also a spice. The darkness seeks the legendary Briar to use the Briar for evil. So the darkness is evil, but it can't do anything without Briar. Yay. Builder Eldor in name only, for he is neither. The village elder in name only, for he is neither. He's neither what? A village nor an elder? Yeah, save your progress on a checkpoint. Like that. Apparently there's only one save file in this game. Which is weird, considering there is... Uh, a lot of hard drive space. And... This is... The story of a girl who cried forever. No. Uh, it's kind of a mash of Zelda and uh, some other types of games. Um, you find a broom. So his main weapon is to clean. And I wish this was blind, but my first recording did not work so well. So now what I have is Fraps going with Audacity. And so I told Fraps not to record mic audio. And in turn, Audacity is going to use... I'm going to be using Audacity for the audio. So that means I have to sync up the audio with the visuals here. So let's... Oh, oh, screen up and attack. So maybe I can get some audio cues from the, uh, from the sound file and link it up. I hope they record at the same pace. I saw you. I saw you. But you can't do anything about that guy. And look how the map auto creates as you move, but it also scrolls so the entire map won't fit on one screen like it did in Zelda. Anyway. Place it to place. This is training because you can't actually take the dust to the next screen. See? Hmm. They don't tell you that, but you figure it out. Heads up! Ah, the puns in this game, too. I got as far as this area last time before I realized I wasn't recording very well. Or I stopped and then checked the audio, and the audio just did not work. So, 
Sorry about that. I've never seen you before. Are you a fellow traveler? You want to protect the briar from the evil darkness? Well, I have no clue what you're talking about. But sounds cool, I guess. I've just been out peddling my wares. No, no, I'm not a salesman. Wares is my bike. Maybe we'll see each other again sometime. Yeah. You know what's bugging me is my alarm on my phone's going off. I have no idea how to turn it off. Like, I can reach over there and turn it off, but I'd have to stop recording, so... We will... Just continue playing for a little while, and then when I stop, I'll go there and take care of that. I hope you guys can't hear it in the background, because that would really bother me. I don't have, like, six audio tracks where I can level it out. Someone keeps texting me, too. Soon your skills will be put to the test young. In order to make it through this temple alive, you will need both strength and intellect. And I assume that by this point, you have found a weapon? Well, uh, I mean, yes, of course. A broom. Or just as was foretold in the legends. A broom. Saving. And yep, you can save here. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. The legend. These guys are cute, but they don't do a whole lot. Who keeps texting me? I, I, I don't have my phone with me. It's not in a reachable distance, all the other side of my room. So, like, I'm getting like 16 texts now. They're probably like college alerts or something, because that happens a lot, because my number's on that system. <laughs> Preferal Vision is the hideout of zombies. Hive of Demons. That that explains that whole thing, but that, that's probably a mechanic that's going to come into play later. Who knows? You can also juggle like that. No. And you can nudge these dudes around from the front, uh, but in order to kill them, you have to kill them from the back. And these guys aren't moving, so it, it's like shooting ducks, man. And it kind of makes me feel bad, but you have to kill them, because otherwise the gates don't collapse. And this one is relatively easy. These puzzles aren't too difficult. At least not right now. They probably will get a lot more challenging later. Uh, there's some training for you. These things can be killed by that. But so can you. And your reach only goes down one. There we go. I don't need that because I'm full health. Now, you kind of want to nudge this guy. Can you touch him? No, you can't. But, um, you can nudge this guy up one and then touch this one. And bingo. And of course, you can juggle like before. Take two dust clouds and then just, uh, go up. And you need a key. I have one key. But, um, you'll need more, obviously. Ow. Hey, okay, I got the hit point back. Yay, ow. You can die pretty quick if you're not careful, because you can get impatient. You know, that's just par for the course. People get impatient and stuff. I got a card, so apparently this is a thing in this game, collecting cards. I could have just blocked them with these dust clouds and made it so much easier on myself. Like, they expect you to do that instead. Just, uh, that. There you go. That is one thick-ass dust cloud, let me tell you. So... And you can't go down those holes, you lose a, a health bar. Just in case you guys are wondering. Yes, that's just like Zelda. And... well... yeah? Ah, no, 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 I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here! Gotta make sure you don't pick up that dust cloud again. Ow! Because... Apparently... I think this is where I croaked last time. Yeah, I could use that. Well, there's two dust clouds now. I can't get <laughs> over to that little slime dude, so I'm just going to save here. That alarm is bugging me now. Unfortunately, they don't stun, so when you hit them, they keep walking. I mean, they have, that hit, they have the hit recovery, but they don't move away like these slimes do when you hit them, so they'll just keep walking in the same line. 
I was almost dead, now I'm almost life filled again. I got the slime card, yay! Yay! Enemies respawn. Ow. But at least there's a chance they'll drop a health bar. Kind of like a heart, only not. And I need a key. So, maybe you'll get a key if you kill, like, sometimes a key might appear if you kill out all the enemies in a level. Nope, it was a good try. Alright, this is only a test right now, so I'm going to save and then quit. Uh, and check out the recording and stuff, and if this worked, I'll post. And if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. So let's see, uh, we have save and quit.